Hey everyone, Andrew Warner, founder of Mixergy.com. I recently did an interview with Ryan Scott, an entrepreneur who, who started an internet company called Net Creations. He built it up, took it public, sold it, and cashed out. And what I wanted to find out from him was what happens afterwards. What happens after you build a company and sell? And here's what he told me. Well, he lived the lifestyle, he says. Lifestyles of the rich and famous was going on around around Ryan. He had the big parties that drew the celebrities and had the big toys, and it was wonderful. But it also, he said, wasn't as satisfying as you'd expect because people who were around it were only interested in, in getting something from Ryan or they they wanted to be around that lifestyle. They just wanted to be in that environment. And... One of the reasons I asked him that is because to many of us, the lifestyle is what draws us, what keeps us working. But if that's not really the answer, if that's not this, what satisfied Ryan, maybe it's not the answer for us either. And my sense is that in the back of your mind, even though you're drawn to big jets and all those other things, and I know I am, I'd like those things, that's not why we do it. That's We know that Ryan's experience would happen to us if if we were ever to sell out and start living that lifestyle, we would be just as dissatisfied with it as Ryan was. And so what was it, I kept pushing Ryan, that, that, that was the goal? What is it that we're aiming for? What is it that he was aiming for, I asked, hoping to find out what, what it was for us, for me and you. And what he said was that it, he discovered that it's the building, the importance of building something. In fact, he told me that, that the need to build something, to have something out there in the world that people look forward to coming home and interacting with, something that outlasts you, something that, that's meaningful and people get excited about, that's what drew him into business in the first place. And after the lifestyle got boring and tired and useless, building something and building something meaningful is what still ignites him today, what, what lights up his fire and gets him going. But he did learn something in the whole uh, party, having a great time world, which is that celebrities are a big draw. And I've kind of been picking up on this on some of the interviews that I've done here on Mixergy. That, and, and, and maybe if you're not in business, this is ridiculously obvious to you. But I don't think of celebrities as that big a draw because I don't care about them. What Ryan, though, found was that if you put celebrities on a website, it's easier to draw traffic. It's easier to get people excited about what you're working on. It's easier to get, if you have movie stars, it's easier to get more people to pay attention to the website in the first place. And so he saw an opportunity. He's been building a new company based on that opportunity, a company called CauseCast, which brings people together with celebrities that they're drawn to and the causes that they can feel passionate about. Um, I'll be honest with you, this video that I'm doing right now and the post that goes along with it, I don't think does this interview justice. I really hope you download the interview and listen to it directly from Ryan, listen to his experiences. I think we're really uh, lucky in the internet space that the entrepreneurs who've achieved are willing to come back and talk to people who are trying to follow in their footsteps and in an honest way, in an open way, tell us what their experiences were like. And we might as well grab it before it disappears. I, I don't know how much longer someone like Ryan Scott can get on the phone with someone like me and record an interview for you where he admits to some of what he said. He talks about the insecurities that he had uh, before he started business. He talks about being a nerd. He talks about all the things that entrepreneurs, I feel, in the old days got rich enough to to hire writers to remake their history so they can bury those, those facts. Today, I think we have an opportunity to learn from the truth because the entrepreneurs in our space and the internet are willing to be open and honest. I thank Ryan for doing it and I urge you to take advantage of this and download the interview. I, I have these books here um, as a prop to tell you that I learned business in school and I learned from these books, but I know that this is not the answer. This, these books don't hold the answer for you and me about how to build a better business. We have to listen to people who've done it. We have to hear what they did to succeed and to hear what was going on in their minds. And that can never come from these books. They're great, but it's got to come from the entrepreneur. So download the interview. Keep studying. Keep telling me what you learn. And, uh, and I'll be right there with you, learning as much as I can about how to build a better internet company. I'm Andrew Warner, and uh, I hope to see you at one of my events.